a force applied to a body produces a tendency for the body to rotate about a point. And this tendency is often referred to as a torque. or moment of a force or simply moment let's consider a practical case from the figure shown a spanner is connected to a net in the figure and is trying to unscrew this nut. As you can see the nut is rotating about a point here and the point is referred to as A. And two forces are shown in figure of same magnitude F acting at a point B and at a point C. Let's consider each case. So if you, if you have ever done this in a real life, real case, you know it will be easy to unscrew the nut if you apply the force here rather than applying the force in here at B. So if we call the effect of the force moment and represent it by M, then the turning effect increases if you apply the force at a farther distance. So that turning effect is directly proportional to the distance at which the force is applied. So in this case, the if you, if you apply the force at B, the distance is T dash and if you apply the force at C, the distance is T. And the turning effect is directly proportional to the distance at which the force is applied. So here the force remains same. So if you remove or if you change this proportionality to an equality, the moment can be expressed as moment M is equal to force times distance and this distance is called moment arm so moment is applied force into the distance at which the force is applied the distance is the distance of the force from the moment center it is very important to find the correct distance in the calculations so how do we calculate the correct distance if you follow these two steps, you will never get it wrong. One, extend the line of action of the force. Two, draw a parallel line through the moment center. I repeat, if you have force acting like this, simply extend the line of action, then draw a parallel line through the moment center and find the distance between these two. That will be your moment arm. So if your force is acting at C, simply extend it, draw a parallel line and find the distance. If your force is acting at B, simply extend it, draw a parallel line and find the distance between these two. That will be your moment arm. And then multiplying that moment arm with the applied force, you will get the moment. Again, I'm reinstating that it will be very very easy if you find the correct moment arm the calculation will be easy simply follow these two steps and you will net you will never get wrong we will do some examples in the next videos